Well, good morning. I have not spoken to you for at least a month now. But today, being March 14th, 2013, and on a day when we find that the Catholic Church has found a new pope. Um, disappointingly, another deeply conservative person who will make life difficult for gays, for people who, mothers who want or need abortions. In other words, a deeply conservative religious person who, I, at, at worst or at best, question deeply. Uh, Pope Francis, the, whatever he is, this 19th, the 32nd, I don't quite know, uh, promises to just bring more of the same deeply conservative, close-minded approach to the Catholic Church. I don't understand where they get all this and why. Why they can't be like the uh, many of the Catholics in Baltimore who are very, very liberal, who uh, understand the need to be giving and compassionate and to help the priests find a way not to be uh, uh, such sexual predators by maybe letting them marry and having a wife look after them and keep them on the straight and narrow. That would certainly protect a lot of children. But no. But no. And this cardinal from I guess Venezuela, is it? I'm thinking that's where it is. Uh, it was also supposed to have ties into the, the military. And uh, it's not uh, its not good. I mean, I, you, that's not proven at all. But uh, he's just another conservative. And so the, the church has said, well, we can't not going to get much out of Europe anymore. Let's, uh, let's get our money out of, uh, uh, of the Spanish population and in South America. So that's who they know. Okay, more of the same. The church is going to outlast me and outlast you and we'll just manage to, to exist on fear of hell and uh, its own warped philosophy for as long, f forever, as, as, period. Uh, on that same uh, note, I'm running for president now. I've decided I need to run for president. Mostly because um, there are certain matters that just must be taken care of and that are not being taken care of. Um, the more I see people who cannot afford operations that they need, the more I see how inefficient the private medical system is compared to Medicare and Medicaid, which Republicans want to cut down on. They want to give more money. They insist on giving more money to the corporations who support them. That's what, that's what the deal is with Republicans, it seems. They want to, they, they, they support all legislation that gives more money to the corporations that supported them. I mean, that makes sense. It always makes perfect sense. Who in, the, in their right mind wouldn't want to do that? So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to run for president only because I need Medicare and Medicaid to apply to every citizen in the country. It's the only way to do it. It's the most efficient way to have medical insurance in this country. So that's, that's number one. Secondly, free education. We need to educate our country. And we must devote the money required to do that. And, and you know, this last outburst by the Republicans opposing uh, the concept of free pre-kindergarten for children uh, just flies in the face of common sense. Why we wouldn't want to provide 
pre-K education to every child in this country, free education to every child in this country, have we lost the sense that we're in it together? I think we have. I think there's so little sense of citizenship happening now. And conservatives, I, I thought to realize this morning, conservatives just want to conserve what they have. They want to conserve their place in society, their money, their prestige, and their power. They want to They don't want anybody else getting any of that. And I understand that. Who wants to give up uh, all that good stuff? Um, really. And that's what they want to conserve. Whereas progressives and uh, liberals really want to spread the goodness out. We want it to reach every person in our society. Black, white, Hispanic, Eskimo, Muslim. You know, Give the Muslims some reason for being happy for living in America. And stop all this garbage. So that's that's another one. Now, how are we going to do all this? Well, I live in New York City. I pay almost 40% taxes. You know, 26, 27 to the Fed, 8.5 to the state, 4.5 to the, the, um, the city. That's... Okay, that's only 36, 26, 8, 12, no, 38, 38% as my tax bracket. And I pay it. I pay it. Now, there's people who have much more money than I do. I mean, uh, come on. Who would never want to pay that, would never want to pay 38%. They've got to pay 38%. You know, they just have to. You just got to. I mean, unless you just want this country, you want to just, the country to be run by corporations like General Electric or something will run the country. And the government will just go. We just won't bother with government anymore. And everything that the government has done in the past, like building roads and building this and building that and the computer industry and da, 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 and so many contributions it's made, just put them aside and would just, would just be a private corporation owned that'll develop things that people will buy and give nothing away. Now that's not good. That's not a good plan. The very first act of mine at when I'm elected president will be to uh, devote about $500 billion, if, or whatever's needed, maybe it's a trillion dollars, to rebuilding the infrastructure of the United States, our roads and our bridges. It has to be done. It has to be done. We, we can't keep putting this off. I mean, the whole thing has to be rebuilt. It's all 60 years old. And, boy, what it'll do for the economy, it'll put real good workers to work. People who know how to work. I mean, building bridges, designing roads, da 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 And you take that trillion, and you put it out there, and these people spend their money. These people don't uh, say they've got so much money they don't, they don't know what to do with it. They spend it. They spend it on their families, and they spend it on this and that. Well, they'll be able to spend it on a lot of other good things because they won't have to spend it on medicine, and they won't have to spend it on education. They'll spend it on cars and stuff, and people in the medical business will say, oh, that's no... They'll find a way. The people in the, in the uh, private medicine business, uh, Blue Cross and Humana and all this, they'll find other ways to make money. And then, on top of that, we're going to have to really, really learn to get our energy from the sun, from the wind, from the seas, and we'll put another trillion into that. Because uh, uh, we're not harnessing the sun properly at all. We're not harnessing the wind sufficiently. And we're ignoring the sea. We, you know, we're ignoring the sea. We just don't use it. The, the waves going up and down, up and down. Do you know how much power is in there? Yes. Okay, because we, we got to stop burning oil. And then we have to devote a lot of money to seeing if there's a way to replace the oxygen, the, the, the good air, taking, scrubbing the air. I don't know, I don't think that's ever going to happen. It requires too much power. But air scrubbers, to, to scrub the air all over the planet, well, that's a massive job. I don't think we can do that. I think we've got to just stop putting, is it carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide? I think it's carbon monoxide into the air. We have to stop. I mean, every car must be a hybrid soon. 
very soon, like 2013. By 2016, every car must be a hybrid and de deliver at least 50 miles a gallon in the city and 45 on the highway. Every car must have six forward gears so that when you get on the highway, you can um, get, you know, get your 45, 50 miles to the gallon. That's just necessary. It has to be. There's no way around it. It has to be. I mean, I know it's radical and I sound crazy, but I'm not. It just has to be, and one way or the other, it's going to get to that. So, uh, and then another thing we have to do is we got to just change Congress entirely. Congress and the Senate. Because even, except for the most loyal Democrats, I don't see much common sense going on in, this, in, in the, the Senate. I see a lot of uh, maneuvering to, to support the people who support them and keep them in office. That's the ultimate goal of every senator, it seems. The legislation, oh, who cares? The people will get angry at me if I bring up uh, 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 global warming. I mean, there's no global warming. I mean, the fact that that's even, it's even questioned is crazy. It's craziness. The fact that they would question global warming. And there's so many people who do. Weather forecasters, oh, well, I don't think it's really uh, true. It's true. It's true. Trust me, it's true. Um, and that's the deal. So I can't think of anything more now, but I want to congratulate Pope Francis on his uh, new position. It's uh, more the same. Congratulations, Church. You've done it again. And uh, vote for me. I, you'll, I'll find a way to get my name on the, the ballots. I don't really want the job. I'd rather play the bass, frankly. I'd rather play the bass in nightclubs and in concert halls and for people. But if I have to become the president in order to make these things happen, I will, because that's exactly what I'll do. So uh, that's it. Uh, uh, hooray, me, uh, me for president. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs>